Hey, this is Mike for Licked, and in this video, I'll show you how to create an underwater sound effect in Adobe Audition CC. Okay, let's get started creating that underwater sound effect on the voice using tools in Adobe Audition. I recorded this earlier. Hello, this is Mike, and I'm just standing by the water. I'm about to jump in. Let's do it. Whee! Whoa, I'm underwater. This is absolutely crazy. Okay, it doesn't sound like I'm underwater, but with just a few simple steps, we'll get it sounding that way. I'm actually going to head over into multi-track view here, and let's call this water, and then I can start working with multiple tracks. So you see I can put the voice on track number one, and actually I've got a few little ambience effects here, so I can put in a splash here. Let's put in the splash around here. But we Whoa, I'm underwater. And I've also got underwater ambience, so I'm going to put onto track three. I'm just going to edit that there, and that should be enough. Let's have a listen. Whoa, I'm underwater. This is absolutely crazy. Let's turn up that underwater ambience a bit using the track volume level. Whoa, I'm underwater. This is ab... Whoa, I'm underwater. This is absolutely crazy. And now let's start with making that audio sound like it's underwater. I'm actually going to take the part where I go underwater. I'm going to place a cut there. I can either do it with uh, the razor tool or just simply highlighting and hitting delete. So let's do that. The razor tool is up here. You can just make cuts like this. Uh, and then go ahead and delete any audio you don't need. And then holding down the shift key, I'm going to pull down by the title and put this on track four. Now on track four, I can go into the effects rack and add in those underwater effects uh, to this bit of voice. So first, I'm going to go into slot one here, filter and EQ, parametric equalizer, and I'm going to add a low pass filter. There it is, LP. And you can see here it is, started playing with it already. And as I pull this down, it's going to muffle my voice and make me sound like I'm underwater. Let's just move it over here so you can see that voice that I'm working on and play as I move LP down. Let's have a listen. Let's do it. Whee! Whoa, I'm underwater. This is absolutely crazy. Sounds good, doesn't it? Let's do it. Whee! Whoa, I'm underwater. This Let's put a bit of space between the, the jump and the splash. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit and have a listen. Let's do it. Whee! Whoa, I'm underwater. This is absolutely crazy. Okay, so that's a good start. Low pass filter in the parametric equalizer. If you wanted to take it even further, you can go into slot two on the effects rack here, working on just this part of the voice. And we'll go into, let's look for modulation and we'll go for something like flanger. This will add a stereo effect. It just adds that kind of, kind of wobbly sound to a voice. Uh, and we'll go through a few of these presets here. There's quite a few good ones. Uh, let's start with vocal flange. Let's do it. Whee! Oh, I'm underwater. This is absolutely crazy. So that's just a subtle difference. But if you change the modulation rate, you'll hear what a difference this makes. I'm going to pull this up as I start playing the audio back. Whee! Oh, I'm underwater. This is absolutely crazy. It sounds a little bit like an alien, really, doesn't it? But you can really mess about with this. You can change the final delay time, modulation Whee! rate. I'm underwater. This is absolutely... And do all kinds of stuff with this. So it really is quite fun. Uh, we'll go to... Let's go for another one. Flange verb is quite Whee! good. Oh, I'm underwater. This is absolutely crazy. So you've got that kind of stuff. Crazy clock of doom buzzed. Whee! <laughs> It kind of goes a bit crazy when you get there. Oral is a good Whee! preset. Oh, I'm underwater. This is absolutely crazy. So you can do all kinds of stuff here. Stereo phasing. Oh, I'm underwater. This is absolutely crazy. So you can get something that you like using this flanger effect. Go back to parametric equalizer. Just play around with the low pass as well if you want to pull that down. Whee! This is absolutely crazy. And you can add as much or as little low pass filter as you feel you need for your underwater sound effects on the voice there. So with just a few steps in multi-track, parametric equalizer using the low pass filter and a bit of flanger fine tweaked to your needs, you can easily get that effect on any audio. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. And if you'd like to use the track I'm using in the background right now, head over to Licks.